Hello. Today we're talking about the difference between formal and informal spoken English. You can hear that I'm speaking quite slowly and clearly, but actually people don't usually speak like this in a conversation. You'll notice that if you're talking to a native speaker, they run lots of words together until you almost only hear clearly the end. Run lots of words together. The end bit tends to be clearest because that's the focus, that's the main point. Formal speech tends to be used if I'm giving a speech at a formal occasion. You read formal speech more often, for example, in a letter or in formal text like a broadsheet newspaper or a book. Formal speech uses complex sentences, whereas informal speech tends to be used in everyday conversations, when we're chatting to each other or when you write a quick email. The sentences are shorter and simpler. Quite often we, used fra we use phrasal verbs in less formal situations. For example, I might say, found out. He found out the car had been stolen. Whereas a more formal way of describing it would be discovered. In informal language, I could say got away. Whereas if I'm writing a more formal statement, I might say the thief escaped. We also use delaying expressions in informal speech. I could say, well, or so. I use these phrases at the beginning to give me a little bit of time to think about what I'm going to say. Because quite often in a formal setting, I've written down some notes about what I might say, whereas informally, we're expected to just speak. Sometimes you need to think a little bit, and so we can use these delaying tactics. For example, let me think. Well, hmm, so I think. It means I've started to speak, I'm engaging with my listener, but I'm still actually formulating the sentence that I'm going to say. To practice getting the idea of what's formal and what's informal, you should listen a lot. If you want to hear formal speech, you can listen to audiobooks, and there are quite a number of audiobooks available. For example, you can buy them from the internet or look on YouTube. You can also listen to the radio news. They speak in formal English. If you want to tune in to how people speak in a real world way, then listen to talk shows on the radio. Tune in to any English speaking radio station. I personally like the BBC, but I am British. The key is to listen a lot, to rehearse what you hear. So if you're driving in the car in the morning, listening to a podcast, you could say out loud something that you've just heard and that helps to, to process it and keep it in our minds. Keep practicing. Bye-bye.